Nubians, how you going? Uh, good to have you here, Danny White Wolf. Uh, I was saying to you earlier that I was going to uh, remake a little bit more of Spirit Stop. Uh, just to show you how to do it. This is Spirit Stop here. Alright. So, here's what we're going to do. I'm just going to make a little bit just so uh, you can see how to make it and uh, to make sure that you do make it, okay? Uh, people don't realize that, uh, you know, if you go to a dollar store, uh, you can get some really cool things and, and, and these zipper seal bags, okay, they're very, they come in handy. Uh, not only can you store stuff in there, but you can set your camera on top uh, when, you're, when you're doing cinemas. Uh, so that it, you can see that edit with him, right? Uh, all right. <clears throat> so the first thing, of course, is your pestle. Now this uh, is very easy to make, okay? And there is not one of you in my family or paranormal investigator. Each and every one of you should obviously have this, okay? This is this should be something that's just in your go bag. Always have this, okay? This is very important stuff. Uh, basically, I'm just using regular table salt okay because once again it's not always the ingredients that matters it's the intention and the prayers and the belief uh, that you put into things that's the only thing that really matters so now the mixture is very simple it's three to one okay so what we're going to do is we're going to put three heaping tablespoons of salt okay, there's one two three all right and now I have a prayer that I always do um, but instead of saying the, the prayer all the time I I say this chant my family chant and uh, as I'm saying the chant I'm thinking of the prayers and the meaning behind everything I'm doing so say ya 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 Hey ya, 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 hey ya. All right. Now what you need is a tablespoon of cinnamon. You want a heaping spoon of that, and it's basically one of these to three salt, right? And you put that in there. Now when you're doing it, you want to say your prayers and your intentions, not just your chant. So basically my prayers go like this. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, I ask that you bless this mixture and keep it pure and keep it honest for what I need it to be. I ask Mother Earth and, and Father Heavens to keep a good foundation and to allow everything to realize that we are all connected. I ask for Brother Sun and Sister Moon. I ask Brother Sun to give light and strength as it gives life for everything and Sister Moon to give us light and guidance and to teach us and help us grow. I also ask for Sister Lake and Brother Mountain to give us a good foundation both in life and in the things that we do and in the medicine. I ask for all the animal totems to clear the path to make sure that nothing can follow us when we do our things. Just to keep the spirits uh, not to follow us. I ask the four directions and the four colors that know all and see all. For this, I ask you to make sure that no spirit, if we use this, is able to follow us from a location to our home or from our location to wherever we're going next to help make sure that they stay at that location and of course I ask the elements to give this all the strength and love and truth that it needs hey ya 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 say ya say ya say ya alright so let's have a look uh, that's what it looks like right there alright once it's all done okay so now the only thing is you take your bag 
uh, that you had your previous stuff made in and you want to make a big bag of this because what we're going to do I'll explain to you how to use this now uh, just as soon as I pour this in here okay and as you can see we got more right So when you're leaving a location and if you feel like there's something that might be following you or you feel like you're being stalked, what you want to do is you want to take a little bit of this, I just left a little bit in here so I can show you, put it in your hand and then you treat it like you would um, hand, cleanse, hand sanitizer, right? You want to clean your hands real good, right? And oh look at that, it smells like cinnamon. Okay. Uh, and then also you want to have a little tiny uh, brush with you like a one inch paintbrush uh, because the last thing you do before you leave the location before you get in your car or before you walk off the property the very last thing you do is you take your brush you dip it in there and do the soles of your feet okay the soles of your running shoes or whatever now why are we doing this because the way we get attachments is because of our scent okay uh, spirits attach and follow our scent okay um, now I don't know what our scent is uh, maybe I smell like uh, chopped suey and you smell like beef and greens I really don't know what we smell like to the spirits <laughs> that's above my pay grade but <laughs> but we all have a particular scent uh, just like them when we go into a place uh, you can smell sometimes tobacco you can smell perfume you can smell flowers or you can smell rotten eggs sulfur dead bodies all the spirits have a scent to us as well okay so basically they'll get a hold of our scent say you're locked out of location say it's a foundry so the spirits are locked in the foundry but they catch on to your scent that turns the key okay they can leave now as long as they're following your scent they can leave until they get to your house once they're at your house if you don't get rid of them by three days they can attach to your house they can put a tether to your house and now they can go back and forth from your house to the foundry whenever they want okay hence the reason we get spirit stuff okay so every one of you paranormal investigators make this okay um, we got spirit stop because once you put it on your hands and you put it on your feet all it takes is a split second for them to lose your sense so they're gonna smell cinnamon right as soon as they smell that it takes away your scent they're snapped back like a rubber bag or like a just like a rubber band back to the foundry and the lock turns and they're locked back in if they lose your scent even for a second they're snapped back like a rubber band and they can't follow you and they can't leave the foundry no more okay which is why you want to have spirit stop in your go bag you want to have it with your paranormal equipment so if you ever feel like they're leave like something's following you don't be dumbass okay use spirit stop uh, use it like a hand sanitizer do your hands and then do the soles of your feet with a little brush and as you do that that's the last thing you do before you leave okay um, make sure all your stuff's put away make sure everything's it's done and then right Luna and then <laughs> once that's done you can leave there uh, and be confident that they're not going to be able to follow you uh, as soon as they pick up that cinnamon scent they're snapped right back all right so that's it for now uh, i hope you got something out of this and i hope you enjoyed it and then luna wants to say hello okay and we'll talk to you next time all right peace and love